Hi everyone and uh, welcome. Um, so welcome back and uh, so today I'm just going to talk about a flail mower. So this is a flail mower. So it's by Cosmo uh, which is in Australia. So the Cosmos are like all flail mowers they have a roller that sits out the back of the mower at, at the uh, at the mower here. Uh, it sits down underneath there. And a lot of people use the flail motor, they reverse back with it. And they also, and, but the uh, flail motor, the roller on the back here, also helps with uh, mulching so that it rolls it back in. Now the flail mower, the roller has got a pin here. And you can see that that one there is quite bent. And there was a pin up here. And it's now no longer there. Uh, those pins are mounted side bearing plates, so I'll give you an idea that bolts on the or, or it bolts on the side of the back of the mower, and the bearing sits in there. The only trouble is that guys, in their wisdom, all they've done is they've just spun welded them on here or welded them on from the inside then put the cap on. There's no other support inside here so all you have is this little pin in this weld and that's supposed to um, take all the load of this roller on either end. It is absolutely going to fail. It's a fail point. This one here is all being bent as well. Because when you reverse them back, people they say that these are good to uh, run over uh, trees up to about 3 inches, uh, 75 mil diameter. But when you reverse them back in country, you, you're going to run into things. So just to say, I bought this like this and... Um, uh, and I'm fixing it. But the problem is, why didn't they run that as an axle shaft right through the middle of it and then support it in the middle here as well? So cut it in half and support it. So uh, modification I'm going to do to it is I'm going to uh, knock that pin out, take that out, drill it out. I'm going to put, a, I'm going to cut it in half I'm going to put a support bracket in the middle here with the, it goes around the shaft. So that the shaft is supported from there, there and there in three points. What they should have done here is they should have had this pin going in at least to here. Um, and then welded here and then welded in a plate in here. So they should have had a, a second plate in the middle there but instead they all they have is just a single little bit of weld in here holding the um, the bearings or the pins on and of course that's always going to break um, so I have ordered a new one but I know that the new one it will be the same and it's just going to fail but it would cost them bugger all to have a full length of it's only one inch round steel going all the way through there and um, uh, then it would be totally a, an axle and total support when you have a look at one inch steel these this harrows over here have got a one inch axle in them so these here have a one inch axle going all the way through them and they're absolutely strong like you, you've got to be really um, really bad to bugger them up uh, over time so uh, having a one inch shaft through there or 25 mil shaft through the flail mower through that back roller would have um, saved the reputation of bad workmanship and poor uh, design engineering 
it would have been so easy to fix uh, from the factory and I don't know why they don't do it from the factory there's no way in the world that was ever ever going to last on a flail mower uh, especially when a lot of people reverse these flail mowers as you can see it's it's a new flail mower it's, it's had bugger all work done um, but um, certainly uh, that's a weak point anyhow that's my suggestion if, if you got one I'd be cutting them off putting the shaft all the way through and making it up so it's um, so it uh, lasts a longer